Yo, 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 yo. Guess what? Guess what, guys? I got my new bat drop. I got my new bat drop. You guys didn't think I was going to come back this soon with another episode of Lockout Men. Mates the call. Yes, sir. I am back with another episode. But this time, guess what? I finally got a hold of Knight and also got a new bat drop. Hold on right quick. Let me let me show that bat drop. Bam! Look at that bat drop right there. <laughs> Look at that. M MTC4 2020. Yes, sir. This is Lockout Me and Mates the Call. Season 4 for you guys. 2020. Yes, sir. Thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate you guys coming in and um, watching. So check it out. This season, I'm doing it all different. So I got like five or i started with five uh five voting uh trucking companies that you guys wanted me to call right i got a lot of suggestions so what i did was in that voting i took the first call which was night unfortunately i couldn't get a hold of them so the second one was estates if i'm pronouncing that wrong please bear with me all right i'm not good i'm not good with names like that i think it's estates or estates but just bear with me so i call it estates so i hope you guys appreciate that first call that first call was suggested by like i said was suggested by uh, a subscriber and or a viewer that wanted to know about estates so hopefully the information i got for you guys uh, was good now there's a comment that was left in the comment session that says that the recruiter didn't give me all of the information you know that didn't give me all of the information so that's that's cool that's cool so look if you want to hook up with me and talk about the company that you want to that you that you work for or that you're interested in and you want to chop it up with me live on my channel on my podcast, get at me at G, um, get at me at lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Let me know what you want to talk about and we'll get it up for the people to watch. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. All right. So today's call was night transportation. The young lady came and uh, gave me a call. She actually called me yesterday. Let me see. There we go. She actually called me yesterday. And I didn't get a chance to talk to her because, of course, I was driving and I was busy and all like that. But I called her back today and got her on the phone and we uh, we chopped it up for a bit. So Night Transportation, which is out of Phoenix, Arizona. But, you know, they also is is. It's Night Swift, all right? But they they both work in separate entities. So they're both located from Phoenix, Arizona. It says right here, I got the res uh, I got the refrigerated part up, and it says it has 728 vehicles with 728 drivers. So I don't think this is a, a good snapshot of the company as far as as far as the vehicles their driver to vehicles go but here's another one that was the refrigerated here's another one uh that says for the global trucking all right so this must be different because they're located out of houston texas so that this might be the night transportation that we're all that we're all know so so definitely um we're gonna get uh we're gonna get night on the phone. We're gonna chop it up with the young lady, which I did have a good conversation with her. So I hope you guys enjoy uh enjoy the conversation and let me know what you think. Nate Transportation, this is Abby. Yes, how you doing today? This is uh Sean. I'm returning a phone call that I got yesterday. Okay, hold on one second. All right. Okay, um, let me pull you up. Um, yes, Sean, you had wanted to call me back. 
Um, yeah. We yeah. had spoke briefly yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, are are you a recruiter? Uh, what, what type? What, what type? I, of, what type of recruiter are you? Um, I help out with driving um, opportunities with us. I also help out with our CDL school. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So, you, so you have some answers for like some questions that I might have uh pertaining to yes, both i can yes what uh, can i what can i help you with okay okay so if i if if i was to come to you guys for uh for my cdls what would i have to do to uh to obtain my cdls through you guys if i decide to come and uh train up under you guys you need our application completed, and you would also need your CDL Class A permit okay. before getting into our program. Okay, so I will have to get my so I have to get my permit from the state that I'm in. Correct. Oh, okay, okay. What? Uh, so let's say let's say if I do all of that, and you know I come I come through. Uh, do you, is is the is the travel? Uh, is the travel meals and hotels covered? I mean, where would I where would I be at? I'm out of Ohio, so where would I come to uh, Are you to the school? Still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hello. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm I'm here. Hello. Okay. Hello. The phone reception just cut out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm still here. Did Did you hear what I said? No, I did not. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. All right. So, um, if I decide to come through uh, you guys training opportunity. Uh, is my travel meals and hotel is covered? I'm out of Ohio, so where would I come to go the, to the uh, training school? The school closest to you is going to be in Columbus, Ohio, and the company takes care of once you're approved and get set up in the program, the company takes care of the cost for the schooling, travel, and hotel to Columbus oh, okay. and while you're in the program for the three weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is oh, so this is three weeks. Am I, and since I'm going through you guys schooling, am I, am I getting paid or no? No, not during the three weeks. But once you go with one of our trainers and get hired on, you would then be paid while you're training. Okay. So when I receive my CDL, uh, I am hired through you guys, right? Correct. Okay. So what's my obligations to the company once I receive my CDLs? Um, as long as you work for the company for at least a year, um, the loan there's just a loan agreement that you would, um, they would take out 40 a week out of your check once you're solo after you're done with the training. And if you work for a night for at least a year, that would all be paid back. Okay, so, so wait. I'm still paying for my license through you guys through my paycheck? No. So mm -hmm. you would be the company takes care of the cost for the schooling right. and everything up front. Right. But once you run so once you start running solo, you would pay that back. Right. You would take out 40 a week out of your check to pay that back. But that's that's what I that's what I'm saying. So I so once I become once I start driving for you guys, you guys take out forty dollars a week for what a year. The schooling, yes. Okay, so what's the total? What's the total cost of the schooling? The schooling and hotel is sixty-seven fifty. Sixty-seven, sixty-seven fifty. So that's six thousand. Mhm. Mm oh, okay, and and they taking out forty dollars a week. Correct. Okay, so that's forty eighty. It's about like what? Mm -hmm. About what? One. So you got one. Well, you get a re you get a reimbursement, um, and then they also do a deduction as well. So you get a tuition reimbursement and a deduction. So it's it would be the forty a week okay. for a year. Okay. Now. To pay back for the now. So as long as you continue to work for the company, there's no money that you would have to pay up front. Oh, okay. Now let me ask you this: Is there any other obligations that I gotta that I gotta do? Like if I gotta sign a non-compete clause or anything like that, if I decide to quit? No, we would. Um, we don't do any contracts with Knight. 
Oh, okay. Okay. So if I decide to quit and go with another company, I would just be obligated just to pay you the money back that I owe you for the schooling, pretty much. Correct. Oh, okay. 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 So, yeah. So that's what I was about to ask. So what will happen if I don't fulfill that obligation? So still, you guys will just come after me for the the money uh, that I owe just for the schooling, pretty much. Y'all, y'all won't hinder sure. me in getting... Uh, another driving job per se correct oh, okay you would you would still need to pay that back oh okay okay so now that i'm so now that i'm a solo driver for you guys uh uh where's where would be uh where would be some of the main terminals is at well where's the main terminal located at well the company's headquartered out in phoenix Oh, okay. But your home terminal typically is the one closest to where you live, so that would be Columbus. Okay. Will I be able to? Would I be able to take the truck home after after I come on with you guys? Yes. Once you're done with the training and you start running solo. Okay. Now my next set of questions is for like uh, just curiosity for what the veteran drivers uh, or for the experienced drivers get. Uh, do they get, do they, do you guys provide a sign on bonus, if any? Uh, we don't do a sign on bonus. We actually do a monthly bonus, which uh, you can earn an extra five cents per mile. Oh, a month. Every month. Oh, okay. Month. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Uh, do you guys, so doing, so doing both testing for, uh, coming to the school and for experienced drivers that's coming in. Do you guys provide, uh, uh, do you guys do hair follicles, hair follicles for pre-employment testing? Yes, we do both hair and urine for everyone. Okay, now let me ask you this question. For the person that is bald, <laughs> like clean shaven, would that hinder him for, you know, hinder him if any, being that y'all still do a, a urinalysis? Uh, so they would still have to do a hair test. So they would use body hair. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. If they're not able to get nobody here because some, you know, some drivers. They, they would have to. Okay. Okay. Unless medically cleared, they would have to, everyone still would have to do a hair test. Oh, okay. Okay. So what about, uh, what, mm -hmm. what, what about, uh, what about all the testing, you know, like, you know, for the, for the drug testing and, and, and pre-employment stuff. Can I do that before I get there or it has to be during orientation? So that would be the first, um, that would be the first day prior to starting at the school for the license, okay. the drug testing and everything um and the the new physical that we pay for for everyone okay. so that's actually done on the first day now what if a what if a what if now this question is experienced uh question so if a driver that's already have his uh his uh dot card would he have to end up getting another one yes we do pay for a new one for everyone okay. so that driver would bring the paperwork with them showing that they've had one um, but they would go through a new one with us and our doctor. Okay. So for the person that's going through the schooling, uh, once he gradu you know, once he graduates, once he receives, once I receive my license and everything, I will still have to go out with a trainer, right? What's the what, what, would, what would be the what would be the average time that the trainer has with the company? I mean, I, I at least want to get a good trainer to to train me. All, all of our trainers have gone through specific training to become a trainer. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't just take anyone to be to become a trainer. It's actually seen as a leadership role. So all of our trainers do a, a very good job in training. Oh, okay. They don't have the length of time that they've been with us. Typically, they would have to need to be with us at least a year at minimum and go through one winter season to become a trainer. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, now that's that sounds good because like I talk to other companies uh, that does you know that does CDL training and once we get on, they trainers was like six months and I I really don't feel comfortable with a 
with a six month driver. It's like the blind leading yeah. the blind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We have to make sure. Yeah. I mean, it's a safety aspect of it. So, um, yeah, it's not run as a team situation. So your trainer is available while you're driving. Oh, okay. Because you can't learn anything if your driver, if your trainer is sleeping. Gotcha, gotcha. So how how long am I out with that trainer? Uh, typically, a new driver that just got their CDL is out with a trainer for at least four weeks. Okay, is that the, is that the same? So that's all. That's that's is that the same with an experience? Well, with an experienced driver with less than a year, do he do he or she has to go out with a trainer as well? Uh, it depends on their experience, and it depends on our qualifications if they fit um, to go without any type of training if they come to us. Um, so there's different levels of of driver experience that we would need to, to take a look and compare on our qualifications to see if they can go out without any training. Oh, okay, okay. What's the, uh, what's the pay doing training? Uh, it's five fifty a week wire training and uh, it's 400 for orientation oh, okay so i get uh so i would get uh 400 extra but i would get 550 dollars a week just four to three weeks of training you would get can you repeat that <laughs> i know right um I'm, so you said it was 400 dollars a month uh i mean 400 dollars for orientation no. correct and then five hundred and fifty dollars a week training for the three weeks. For the four weeks while four. you're with your trainer. Okay, so for the four weeks while I'm with my trainer. Now after I get finished training Correct. after I get finished with my trainer, would I still have to like train out or or pass out to 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 come in or after after my trainer says that I'm good to go, then I'm good to go. Correct. Yeah, your trainer is going to sign off, and um, you would then be, um, you would finish up some paperwork, and then you would be on your own. Oh, okay. As a solo driver. Now I'm kind of curious. I'm I'm kind of curious to know what what does the trainer gets out of this deal? Uh, by him training, what what do he get out of it? As far as uh, the trainer is paid extra to train, and they get the miles for the truck. Oh, okay, okay. So if you're thinking about becoming a trainer in the future, mm -hmm. we do have um, positions available if that's something that you might be interested in. Oh, okay, okay. Now, with my trainer, uh, with my trainer, am I forced to uh, am I forced to team drive? I think you just mentioned no. something. Him not be okay, okay, yeah, because you just mentioned you don't want the trainer sleeping or in the in the sleeper bed while I'm driving, right? Correct. Very, Correct. Uh, you're, that's that's the time that you're you're supposed to be training. Okay. Okay. Now, once I come on, now I got a two part question. One for the experience, and one for the you know for the new driver. What's the cent per mile for the experienced drivers that's coming in? What do you mean after training or no, an experienced it, driver applying with us? Yeah, experienced driver applying with you. What's what's the CPM for? for them starting um i'm not the recruiter that handles that oh. there's a different recruiter for oh okay. okay i just handle the schooling all right so what's the cpm for the new driver after he completes uh training uh we are on a progressive scale so it is based on the length of the trip okay. um so we're at 36 to 45 for the first 30,000. And then after completing that, depending on which division you're running for, um, you would then bump up to the next pay scale. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's sort of like a sliding scale pretty much, right? Cor correct. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you guys offer pay advances for, you know, for we weekly, do, yes. weekly pay advances? All right. So we do, yes. So being, that, uh, so being that I'm a new driver, I got my license through you guys, um, do you guys pay for uh, holiday pay, vacation? Yes. Uh, all holidays or just some? 
Uh, it's a well, we do an incentive. Um, so some drivers work holidays and some don't. So you're compensated if you do work holidays. Um, paid time off is a little bit different. Mm-hmm. So after 90 days of employment, you're going to earn three days of paid time off with us, oh, okay. and then it's going to basically build from there. So that's something that we can kind of go go into once we kind of get everything started and get you approved and everything too. So okay, I can send you over the benefits guide as well. Oh, okay. So you mentioned you still need your permit, correct? Well, I could get I of course I can get my permit uh, here in Ohio. Uh, here in uh, Cleveland, oh, Ohio, okay. where I'm at. Uh, I was at. That's so, why are I was you asking. familiar with how to get that? Yes. Yes. Um, okay. Definitely. So the go, testing yeah, and the physical. Go to the, yeah, got to go to the testing and get my get my physical mm-hmm. and everything. Um, mm-hmm. What about right. what about um what about uh while that I'm while that I'm driving? Do you guys do you guys do per diem? Is it offered? It is offered. It's an option. Okay, so that means so, I don't have to. I don't have to opt into it uh, if I don't want to. Correct. Yeah, you can decide whether or not you want it or not. Okay. Now let me ask you this: uh, being that I'm going through the schooling and everything, you guys do pay for my hazmat if I do if I decide to get my hazmat endorsement. Would uh, could you or would you? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a. That's a per terminal basis, but yeah, we can help out with that. Oh, okay. What's the what's the benefits? What what are the benefits that you guys can offer? Um, I can email that over to you. We have a benefits guide. Oh, okay. so we have full benefits, full medical, dental, vision, four hundred one, all that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so now that I'm driving, you know, that I'm driving for you guys, what's what's the average miles you think I can average with the company? Uh, it depends on a few different factors. Um, it depends on how much you want to run, what kind of schedule you're on, which division you're running for. Um, there's a, a few different factors that go into it. So okay. now we you... would need to take a look at that as well once we get everything, um, get the application and get everything going. Okay. Now you mentioned division. So you guys have what? Mm-hmm. Uh, reefer, uh, drive-in. Do you guys have flatbed and stuff like that, tankers? We have we don't have tanker. We have dry, refrigerated, and flatbed. Oh, okay, okay. And those are three divisions. Can I choose between the divisions that I want to run? If 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 you know, once I come on. Correct. Oh, okay, okay. So let me ask you this: Do you guys run the tolls, like the toll roads? Do we get reimbursed for the tolls yes. if we if we run the toll roads? We have Easy Pass in all of our trucks. Okay, so there won't be no problem of me running the toll roads with with no problem. Correct. Oh, okay. What about uh, what about home time? What's what's my home time policy looking like? Uh, it depends on again which division, mm-hmm. what kind of mileage, which position. Um, there's a, a lot of different factors that go into that as well. Okay. So, so what is your email? Uh, my email is lockoutmenpodcast at gmail dot com. That's I'm L- gonna need you to spell that out, please. L O C K O U T M E N P O D C A S T at Gmail dot com. L O C K O U T M E N P O D C A S T at Gmail dot com. C A S T at Gmail dot com. Yes, ma'am. C A S T. Yep. Um, All right, perfect. What about uh? And then I'm gonna send you a lot of this too, so we can go over it. Oh, okay. I I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I only have a few more questions. Is that okay? Uh, sure. All right. Uh, what about a pet and rider policy? I have a little. I have a little pet dog that I want to bring with me. Do what? What would be the policy on that? We have both. We have both. Um, pet and rider. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, do you guys? Do you guys force? Here's a question that, that they told me to ask. Uh, do you guys force dispatch in the New York City and the California? We do not have any force dispatch. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I guess uh, the last question that I guess I I guess I got will be 
on the trucks. So what 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 equipment that uh that you guys will offer me once I come on and drive? Uh, typically, right now we're running Volvos and Internationals, um, but they would go over equipment with you um, as okay. far as getting into something. Okay, mm -hmm. that's are, something that they would go into. Are are they all autos? Uh, we did transition over, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, do you know if they have a, a a driver camera in in the in the trucks? The only cameras that we have are the forward facing that face the road. Oh, okay. And what's the uh, what's the trucks govern that? Sixty-five cruise, sixty-three pedal. Sixty-five cruise, sixty-three pedal. Oh, okay, okay. Well, um, I will take the email that you just. I think I think it just popped up. Let me see. Uh, no, I didn't send anything oh, oh, yet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was just wondering. I was like, okay, okay. I, I ain't see it yet. But uh, I will take the email. Uh, I will go. I will go over it. And I do appreciate the time that you took to uh, answer my question. So thank you very much. What's your name again? All right, my name's Abby. Abby, Abby. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for calling me yesterday because I was I was lightweight discouraged when I couldn't get a hold of nobody the first time. So I do appreciate you uh, calling me back. And I appreciate you taking the time out uh, going over the company with me. Thank you very much. No problem. I will talk to you later. All Have right, a good man. day. You too now. Yo, this is Lockout, man. I want to thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I want to send a super thank you to Renee for suggesting the call to Night Transportation. If you guys have any suggestions of any companies you want me to call, definitely leave it in the comments below. All right, let's go ahead and finish up. Yo, okay, so what do you guys think of that call? What do you guys think of that call right there? I am going, well, she didn't give me much information as far as the experience drivers go, but she basically gave me more information about the about the schooling and for the new jack so i think this is what you guys are interested in so if you're interested in night transportation definitely give them a call um she sent me some emails so if you guys interested in the email that i received about night transportation let me know and i'll forward it to you so you guys can do your research as well but what do you guys think of that call i will give that call actually i would give that call well first i was i was this I, I was disgruntled because like i said the first time i called i wasn't able to get a hold of nobody but uh, when she answered the phone today, you know, she answered the phone today. She answered my question. So I would give it a six. Yeah, I would give it a six. What do you guys think? Rate the call in the comments below. Well, that's about it. Uh, would, I mean, what do you like I said before, what do you guys think? If you guys is interested in night, definitely give them a call. Like I said before. All right. Well, that is it for this episode of lockout men makes the call 2020 i'm hoping that you guys still appreciate uh what i'm doing for you guys and if you do definitely hook me up with some coffee right there there's the link up there there it is there's the link right there so definitely hook a brother up with some coffee man i really do appreciate it if you guys have any questions that you want to know about these recruiters definitely leave it in the comments below or you can email me at lockout men podcast podcast at gmail.com or you can dm me at uh lockout men over at instagram same thing goes if you want to know who i'm going to call next definitely get your suggestions in there definitely watch for the community posts because that's where i will put the the um the suggestions at and you guys could vote in which order of me to call the companies uh, I would definitely get that in there for you. So, like I said, get it in. Until next time, until next time, I really do appreciate it. Until next time, I get back with you guys in another video. You guys take it easy. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace.